So are you wondering how to proceed with your existing incomplete LinkedIn? And here I have so many tips to grow your network as well as to let the recruiters know that you are actively looking for jobs. I have some tips to show the recruiters that you are offered new opportunities and you are ready to work with them. So please do watch till the end. Hey all. So in our last video, we all came across the importance of having a LinkedIn profile and the efficient ways of using it to boost up your career. Everything on LinkedIn begin with our profile. There are many ways to creating a great one. Here is how to do it. As well as some tips to keep in your mind and that's to grow our network. It's me Kesia in Newfoundland Dairy with another episode on LinkedIn. If you are watching me for the very first time, I'm Kesia. I do create a lot of informative videos regarding my Canadian journey and the tips to get your dream job from your home across the world. Please do not forget to check our trailer video which is just 2 minutes. So without much delay, let's go and see the step by steps of crafting your LinkedIn profile. So if you like the channel, please do hit the subscribe button with all notification bell. Coming to the important parts of a LinkedIn profile, the first comes your profile photo. So how your profile photo should be? Like the profile photo should a good quality one. It should be simple and professional. It should be some close up one. It's not required to be a complete or full body pose. So the person should be looking straight to the camera with a simple smile in a neutral or simple background. So that's how about a profile picture. You don't really want some profile pics like the wedding photos or with some fancy costumes like hats or sunglasses. Exactly, we are not going for a modeling here. We are simply the professionals. So next comes your headline. So headline is the thing that which just seems besides your name on LinkedIn. So this is something that will appear while the recruiters will search for a particular professions. So it's an excellent chance for you to make a great first impression. So make as much as uh, like you can convey as much as possible with simple few words. So make it snappy and interesting so that your connections want to click and find out more about you. So you can use your keywords of your profession if possible. So here are a few examples. This is how you can include your name and your headlines in the edit intro sessions. So here we have uh, some demographic information regarding your place and your country and everything. So LinkedIn will always ask about your current employment status and your employer. So if you are an un unemployment person, you can use the phases like or uh, like currently looking for an employment opportunity or you are an advertising student now and you are seeking challenging employment opportunities. This will show you are positive thinking or your forward thinking for the future. In the contact information, make sure you have included your email address. So this is the one when uh, the recruiters or somebody want to reach you, they can uh, use your email address. Make sure the email address you have used is the one you often check. So this is the place where we'll be you getting uh, some your connection requests and messages. Make sure your email address is visible to everyone. So in, in order to check that, you need to get into the settings and privacy tab where you will see who can see your email address. Make sure you have made it into anyone on LinkedIn if you are actively searching for jobs. Next comes your about sessions. As you can see in this uh, page, the in the about session, the first three lines is visible without clicking the see more link. So make sure you include your summary here within these two, three sentences. So I know uh, writing a summary can be tricky. So 
uh, you can, we have some tips to improve your about session. Here you can break up your contents. In the first session, you will be summarizing all about you in two, three sentences. So in the next sessions, you will be speaking about your skills and your expertises. So make sure that you use at least 40 words here because it makes it more likely to be show up in searches. Uh, you can include the maximum keywords a big yeah that, that best describes your profession and that you have experience in it and in the next sessions you can speak about your goals or your passion actually don't be afraid to show your personality uh, i had seen that there are 40 percent of the recruiters are love to seek your attitudes towards your work and your culture so don't be afraid to show your personality here Next is a featured session. Actually, you can highlight your post, your articles, your web pages, and even your YouTube channel. So as you can see here, I have a featured my YouTube channel along with my latest video on LinkedIn. So uh, you can include this session if you have any. So let's move to the experience session. So for the for job seekers this is where your juice is so make sure the experiences listed here reflects everything you did and everything that you can do so make sure this experience part reflects uh, with your updated resume and you can optimize with maximum keywords that relates to your profession and this is how uh, i have mentioned about tailoring your resume as well as a linkedin profile but make sure it matches with your resume and it should be more readable than a typical dry resume you know the resume is a much more formal one but linkedin can speak more than a resume in informal way you can add your title your position in uh, any companies uh, with an employment type whether it's a full-time or part-time including the company name location and everything there and you can always include the description uh, and you can modify it according accordingly so coming to your education session so when you include your education be sure to include all your colleges or schools you attended so this will allow you for easier connections with all classmates alumni groups and like so in addition you can include any education that wasn't necessarily through the university or college such as a corporate training seminar certifications on to an, some organization or association related to your field so now it's time for your skills so as you can see here you can uh, include as many skills uh, up to 50 i believe so uh, at least you should have five skills because uh, then you have uh, more chances to reach a recruiter with your profile. Make a list of your skills in the order of your proficiency and expertise. So like uh, you need to think about uh, what job you are searching and what are the skills uh, like best suitable for the seeking job. So in that way, you need to uh, order the, your expertising skills. And you have another option to get endorsed by your previous employers or your colleagues linkedin will highlight three of your skills listed here so make sure uh, that you have edited this according uh, to our order so that's about a basic linkedin profile so next we are moving to the settings session yes the privacy and settings where you can personalize your linkedin urls as well as you can set your profile in a way it will reach a recruiter and you can set that you are open for good opportunities so we are just moving with your edit like in the first session where you can edit your profile public profile actually this is the same thing we did uh, in our past sessions so here we have another link 
you can customize your url so basically a linkedin url comes with some sort of characters including numbers and everything so we can customize it and by removing the extra numbers and we can use our own personal name with or maybe whatever you want to be like you can use your date of birth you can use your date of year or some special words if you want so coming to your job seeking preferences so this is where you being a job seeker you need to concentrate on so when he, here we have a job application settings so in that you can upload your resume in docs or pdf format so make sure you check this section if you want to upload your resume so it's a job application settings so uh, yeah this is an interesting session in which you can let your recruiters know that you are open to op new opportunities so while clicking yes here we don't need to worry that it will not offend our current employer that means linkedin uh, have some privacy policy that they will not show with your current employer so being a job seeker you should stick it as yes as and uh, this is another interesting session so i have shown you how to set your job alerts in my last video and here is an interesting factor that it will signal your interest to the recruiter at the companies you have created job alerts for so this is a good point where your interested companies will know you are interested on them you can select here uh, the sharing your profile when you click apply as yes and so that's about your job seeking preferences then coming to your communication things here you can set who can reach you who can send you messages and everything so being a job seeker you can set this invitation to connect from everybody on linkedin but usually the recruiters are will be like setting some restrictions since a uh, lot of people are reaching to them so that's is the reason why we can't message uh, some recruiters directly without connecting so that's how uh, this message sections works so this is all about uh, our settings the important settings needed for a job seeker you can play around the settings over there another important thing is all the settings we have shown till this time is available from your mobile phone itself so i got some comments from my viewers that they don't have some laptop or computer but still they want to export the opportunities so don't worry you have that option to do all these things from your mobile phone so i will show how it is what the settings and whole thing is with my mobile screen So that's for today and I hope you like this video. If you find it useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and please do share it with the people who are actively looking for jobs. So thanks for watching till this time and I hope I could add some points to your knowledge. And if you find it informative, please do let me know which part of this video was helpful for you through the comment box below. So thank you for watching. So see you with next video. Bye.